Hey guys, how's it going? CV here. Welcome to another high level video. In this one, we are going to discuss how to import contacts data in bulk into your high level account. So the use case here could be suppose you are moving away from another CRM or maybe one of your clients is moving away from another CRM into your white label go high level account. So what you have done is you have created a sub account for your client and you're ready to import all his leads data into this account. So before that, what you need to do is you need to export the contacts data from his CRM or maybe if you are using a CRM, you need to export the data from the other CRM in CSV format because this is the format of a spreadsheet that best suits go high level. So make sure you export that in CSV format and then you will be ready to import the data. So this is what we're going to learn in this video. But before we move forward, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more updates like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to contacts. As you can see, this is totally empty. And what we're going to do is we're going to just click here, import. This will bring up a pop up. So what I have done is I have already exported my contact list and I'm ready to import it here. So I'm just going to find out the list dragged and dropped and I can click next. As you can see, this was in CSV format, my spreadsheet that I just imported. Now, this is the mapping part. So mapping is basically mapping out all the spreadsheets columns with the go high level fields. So the names you can see in this column over here. So these are the spreadsheet column I have in my spreadsheet, right? So uh, I have contact ID. I've got first name, last name, business name, DND, phone number, email, etc. And these are the high level contact fields. So this is mapping out like so the first column is called first name and the data from the first name will be mapped to the first name field of high level. So this is how it's mapping things out, right? So automatically it got first name and it mapped out with the first name attribute of high level. Similarly, last name, last name, business name, company name. So high levels field is called company name where my spreadsheets column name was business name. DND doesn't matter. Phone number, email, blah, blah, blah. So these are the fields that high level couldn't map out. So created is a field in my spreadsheet and it couldn't find a similar go high level field so it's just basically empty and it's asking me to map out so in here what you have to do is if you have a field that you think uh, you could put this data in just go ahead and select it otherwise just keep it empty and as you can see there's a lot of fields that high level couldn't automatically map out so either you just go ahead and map things out you know yourself but I have a pretty good feeling that these are custom fields. So if you have custom fields similar to this in your high level account, make sure you map this out. Or if you don't have it, maybe ignore or just create those custom fields and come here and, and import again. So what I am doing is I don't want to map out all these. So I'm just going to say don't import data in unmatched columns. So the columns that are unmatched, I'm asking high level not to import that data. So click next. And you can give it a name. So I'm just giving it import. I'm giving today's date so I can 15 December. Create a list. So you can create a smart list from the contacts that you're importing. I'm not going to import those. So find existing contacts based on primary. So this is a really important thing to understand here. So what's the primary field of the record? Like I have a contact and that contact has an email. So if there's a duplicate, how does high level find it out? through the email. So if the email of two contacts match, that will be considered a duplicate, even if both the contacts have separate names, separate phone numbers. So you could change it out. Like uh, you could just give it phone number or email or whatever. I'm just keeping it email. Don't update empty values for existing records. So I'm just keeping this on. You can add tags so you could filter based on the tag. I'm using the same name in tag as the import name. So I'm creating a new tag here. All right, done. Now you can also add to a workflow or a campaign. We are not using campaign anymore. So we just can select a workflow, but make sure like if you are importing huge data, like thousands of records in one go, I don't think this is the best idea to add them to a workflow because then it's going to be a, like a flood of emails and SMS going out through those workflows. Like imagine sending thousand emails 
at once. You might get banned or something. So try avoiding this if the list is too big. And as my list is too big, I'm avoiding this. And if I hit submit, it's going to start importing all the data. And if I close this, if I go to bulk actions, so this is the, this is the import that's just completed. So this is how you can import a bunch of data into your high level account, or maybe your clients high level sub account. Hope this video helps. And again, make sure you subscribe to get more updates like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Cheers.